Hey, what's going on, folks? RVP, a.k.a. Ron Mr. Barber. Listen, this is my first barber video. I've done lots of fitness videos, but I've never done a barber video. But I'm going to choose. I've been in the barber business for 35 years. So I did my first haircut two days after I turned 16 and 51. Barbering is in my blood. My father, my mother, my uncle, my cousins, my sisters, all barbers. My mother and my sisters are also cosmetologists, so we know hair. Okay? So, about a month ago, a little more than a month ago, I met this thing for a, a high school in Philadelphia, Dobbins High, for, for the barbering program. And they're talking and stuff, and they're talking about these clippers that I have no idea what they're talking about. You know, this is what I do for the last 35 years. Boom. 76. Boom. And it's mastery. What the heck? Having a problem here. And the TL liner. Now, new stuff would come out. we try it. It'd be crap. we go back to the, to the tried and true. You know what I mean? We've tried a lot of stuff. Actually, I stopped trying stuff probably 10 years ago. Anyway. In this meeting, the people were talking about these clippers and stuff. I don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about the cordless stuff. And I said, nah, let me explain something to you. You know, we got the real deal. That's what I use. Boom, boom, boom. It was me and like two other barbers who had been barbers 25 years plus. So the kids are talking about, oh, man, you got to try this and this and this. That's crap, man. They said, well, no, no, the stuff nowadays is good. So I asked them about some stuff. They tell me about the Super ZR and this, this, and the other thing. Well, a couple of them talked about this wall detailer. And listen, when I became a barber, if you used a wall clipper, you were cutting in your kitchen. Barbers did not use wall stuff 35 years ago. We used Andis outliners, you know what I mean? Anyway, I go and I do some, you look on YouTube and I see some videos and whatnot, and a lot of people are high on these things. So, I decided to try it. So, I buy this thing. Okay. If you're used to this, and now you have this, there's a huge difference. First of all, a lot of guys on YouTube are whining about how heavy this is. Hey, it's heavy, it's heavy. I mean, we just think we're a pound, two pounds, I don't know what it weighs. If this is heavy to you, go to the gym. You're a grown man, and you're whining about how heavy this is, go to the gym. All right. Okay, this thing don't weigh nothing. I picked this thing up out of the box, and I'm like, what the heck? What is this, a toy? I mean, what is this for cleaning your, getting your nose hair? You know what I mean? I mean, really, is it, you want to shave down there or something with this little thing? I mean, don't weigh nothing. It's light, it's tiny in my, this, this is, this is substance. This is, this is a clipper. You know what I mean? This is a, what is this? It's a toy or something. You know what I mean? I was not happy at all. Okay. So I got this little teeny light thing here. So I'm not happy. Okay, well, I charge it up. You know, look over, the light's not flashing no more. Customer gets in the chair, so let me um, line him up with it. Because I heard it's the hitter. Oh, yeah, it's the hitter. That's what I hear on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? This out the box was not the hitter. Not at all. No way, no how out the box was this the hitter. I don't care about the sound. Oh, listen to this sound. Oh, it's wonderful. No, I don't care about that. I want a clipper that I can put a good line on. And out of the box, it was not. Now, I played with it. And it gives a pretty decent line now. You know what I mean? I didn't um, um, zero gap it. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. I didn't zero gap it, but I make it so it can give a pretty decent line. You know, actually, when I first, the first time I could, I was going to put it back in the box and give it back to to a barber supplier, but the guy said, nah, nah, you just got to learn to cut with it. Cut with it for two weeks. Okay, so for two weeks I cut with it before I even adjusted the blade. I wasn't happy. I adjusted the blade. It gives a pretty good line now. Now, what I do with this thing, this is what I like for this thing. No cord. So it gives me the freedom to move around. Okay. Kids. Kids are bouncing around in the chair doing whatever they're doing. You know what I mean? I had some handicapped people who can't sit up straight. I got a guy in a wheelchair. It's good for that. You know what I mean? Because I can move around with it. I like it for that. You got soft skin. I like it because it ain't the hitter. Even after I adjusted it, 
Now I didn't adjust it, I didn't zero gap it, so I'm not worried about it scratching me. So I like it for that. So what I usually do is, you know, I use this to put a line on. Then I come back with this and make my line sharp. This gets crispy, this puts a line on. See what I'm saying? So it's, it's not, um, this is, this to me will never, and I repeat, never replace that. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't like how it feels in my hand. It's ergonomically wonderful. I hear, I'm here, I heard crap like, it, 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 feel, it feels so good in my hand. I, yeah, yeah, no. That is a clipper. You know what I mean? This, this, this is a vet. This is a, uh, a Ford Escort. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to get the same place with this eventually that I will with this. But nah, nah, not even not even the same category, okay? But, you know, we got soft skin, old people, some ladies, kids. I will put the line on them with this. It'll work for that. You know what I mean? I like the freedom that I have with this cordless thing. Now, I feel like if I drop it on the floor, it's going to break um, I, I mean, they say it's well made. I don't know. I just used it on um, two of my last three customers. Um, but, you know, it's not real loud, you know. I don't know. It, 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 it works for what I, I need it for. You see what I'm saying? You know, once I learned to cut with it, which is stupid to me, just to learn to cut with it, you know, um, it'll give a, it, I can get a decent line with this. And I'll just make it sharp with my other one, okay? So, was it worth the money to me? That's what it's going to do. It's not a hitter. You know what I mean? Quite honest, you know, never replace it. Will I keep it in my arsenal? Yes. Just finished the old man, and he's, and he's I mean, this man is early 90s. You know what I mean? And I, I, I wouldn't want nothing zero gapped on him. His skin's too soft, you know what I mean? So this works well. So I will keep it in my arsenal, okay? Now, two weeks after I bought that, I bought that. This will be my next review, folks. I'll tell you about it next, on my next video. Y'all have a good day. It's RVP, Ron the Barber. Ron Mitch the Barber signing out. Y'all have a good day. I got to sweep the floor now because I just finished some customers. All right. Peace.